Thought uh, it was definitely good to get back out uh, on the practice field. You know, having the uh, the weekend off uh, for the guys was good. Um, you know, I thought it was a good opportunity to reflect from the scrimmage. Um, you know, get a chance to, to see some of the the details and areas of where we got to got to continue to improve. On the flip side of it, we also did you know put in a pretty good little uh, installation. You know, there offensively, some different looks defensively, um, and you know, probably today was the first day. You know that you saw some some of the. You know uh, some of the mistakes that you know obviously with a with a new installation where there were some some communication issues, uh, some some areas where guys you know um, you know started seeing different looks and you've know, got to be able to adapt and adjust to that. So um, you know it was it was one of those days that we needed here this spring and it was a great opportunity uh, uh, you know for guys to to you know challenge themselves and you know there'll be some a lot of good film uh, to be able to move forward with and. Um, you know, this you know, Thursday won't be as much, um, but you know, really want to see how guys can can grasp and make some of the corrections, and you'll be able to apply that uh, you know, as we move forward this week, building up for the second scrimmage. But you know, I, I did think there was some some good back and forth, you know, some situational work, you know, some explosive plays on, on both sides of the ball, and you know, um, but but obviously some some missed opportunities where, where guys got to continue to grow and get better. When you went back and watched the scrimmage, did you take any new takeaways besides what? No, I mean it was uh, it was probably one of the cleaner first scrimmages that we've had. You know, that was uh, there were there were some some missed assignments that were out there, but it was really limited for a first one, especially on the fifth practice. Um, you know, there was you know, we we got a chance to work a lot of different situations. You know, guys still need to to learn in their awareness of, of those situations, but uh, you know, I thought the tempo was pretty solid. I thought the uh, um, you know, there was there was good back and forth. You know, like I said, some 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 space plays that were made, um, but also you know you, you saw some physicality and toughness that that was put on display. So, um, all in all, I thought it was a, I mean, it was a good scrimmage for the first one. Going, I mean, some positions, you know, I thought you know, even you know quarterback, I thought it was probably better. Um, after watching it, then what you know, maybe even some of the moments on some of the some of the things that were misses or some of the decisions, um, we go back and watching it, it wasn't you know very coachable things and, and things that uh, we get to grow in. So um, you know, I, I thought it was a good, really good first scrimmage. The three D ends, Tommy and Sione, uh, Marvin, both of them just integrating themselves and getting used to what you guys ask about. No, I mean I think they're doing a good job. Um, you know, I think you, you see the. You know the, the, the emphasis of, of technique fundamentals. You know, making sure that guys understand the, the calls. You know what they're supposed to do. Um, you know, there's still a little bit of thinking going on uh, there, but you know, you see the flashes and you see the the, uh, the ability of, of what they're capable of. Um, now it's just the consistency of, of uh, you know bringing it along. But I mean, I'm really excited. I think you know Marvin is is what we what we thought he was. Uh, you know, just with athleticism, ability. Um, you know, I think you, you're seeing growth with him. You know, uh, uh, Sione is you know a very physical, powerful you know, young man that's uh, you know you know growing in his confidence and what we're what we're asking him to do and how we're asking him to do it. And then you know, Tommy. Tommy's got a lot on his plate. You know, we're, we we told him coming in that this would be something that he we felt like he would be able to move around. Um, and you know, so we're we're doing that. And you know, he's definitely a very active player. Um, you know, I, I like what I see from him, and I think he he's definitely gonna be able to help us. Um, you know. You know, a guy that you know, I thought you know, I thought a couple of his D tackles flashed in the scrimmage too. You know, Grady Kelly. Um, you know, I thought um, you know did a good job. I thought KJ Sampson actually had a had some some really good plays in it too. So, uh, just looking at that D line group of some of those you know, newcomers and guys that are trying to take a step, I thought that was uh, uh, some some positive things that showed up. With some of this install is it like apples to apples with DJ and Brock both learning it together at the same time? No. I mean, do we? No, I don't. No, sir. Uh, Jalen Lucas. I mean, I don't know if you thought of him as like a special team team, and we'll see what he can do from scrimmage. But it seems like what he's doing from scrimmage is like outshining anything else that he's done. Yeah, I know. He's. I mean, we're really excited about what he brings. His versatility. You know, the the ability of what he can do out of the backfield. You know, being able to to move him around. Um, you know, we were we were excited with him coming in, and you know, I just love the the mentality, the work ethic. You know, the the speed, acceleration, all those things are are, are things that uh, that show up, um, you know, on a consistent basis. And you know, but it's it's his want to that I, I just, you know, he comes out every day, every rep. I mean, he's pushing to be his best, and you know, he's it's exciting to see the growth. Most awards seem like it had a pretty impactful 
to practice the DeMarco Ward. Mm. I guess I know he didn't play as much as some of the other freshmen last year. How do you see him grow over the last 12 months? Well, you know, it's just it's, it's the consistency for him. You know, the confidence that's building. Uh, you know, he's really changed his body. He's done a nice job. You know, he's got he has speed. He's got explosive power. Um, you know, it's just the the you know, trusting the technique, the fundamentals. You know, make sure he's putting himself you know where he needs to be, and then you know just you know cutting it loose and, and going to. Uh, going to play and so but I thought uh, you know, he played a good number of snaps in the scrimmage I thought it was you know, a mixed bag there I mean there's some some good you know some some missed opportunities but um, you know I'll get a chance to go back and watch it here to uh, tonight and see what that does see how he did and his continued uh, continued growth. Omar Graham seemed to do a bit more today than he has how excited are you to get a healthy version? Yeah, you know, I mean, he, you know, he battled through some injuries there last year. I mean, throughout the season, and so uh, you know, we're working to get him back to to uh, to to full speed. And you know, this week it was a, a, today was a good step in that direction. We're hopeful we can get more here towards the end of the week, and you know, maybe even get him a little bit of action towards uh, there on Saturday. So we'll we'll see what that looks like. I mean, I, I I think so. I mean, you know, KJ Kirkland was a guy that you know we had, had a few you know minor minor you know injuries there in the in the uh, in the fall. But I mean, I thought I thought he was really good in the scrimmage. I mean, he showed speed, athletic, athleticism, physicality. Um, you know, Conrad's a guy that we've got high hopes for um, as as he continues to to grow and and you know just in you know the the consistency of his playmaking. I think is going to be something that's big. Um, you know, obviously you know we saw. Quinn. I mean, we're excited about what we think it, you know, his future is. Um, you know, and then you know, as you as you kind of bring the you know, Jabril Rawls is somebody that's actually done a, done a really nice job here and uh, you know, throughout the uh, spring ball. So you know, you have that young core of, of guys that uh, you know, like I said, they got some action last year, but really really fired up to see how they're going to continue to progress throughout the course of spring. Jane Jones, Jane Jones returns after the ACL. Yeah, I think he's probably been one of the most improved guys this spring when you go through spring um workouts you know just the the you his body the confidence you know anytime you're coming off a, a leg injury like that you know it just takes you know it takes time to build that and you know he got practice he got the work um but now you're seeing the strength that's starting to to uh, to develop and you know he's still you still got to continue to to, to to get better but i mean when you have that that size length and you know, he definitely has some explosiveness so it's good to see that showing up Good. Thank you, Coach. Thank All you right, thank you, guys. Y'all have a great day. You, you as well. We'll have Shahid.